I don't think these, I think these kids realize, they want 90, they want 95. But it's a lot easier for them to sit back and say it's so hard, the program's so difficult that it's not actually going to happen. It's comfortable. Sit back, you, you're cozy with that idea that yes, I want it, but it's probably not really going to happen. So they're comfortable. So they get in here and they just go through the routine, go through the day. They don't actually push themselves to that next little level every day that you need to. If you're going to make a real change in yourself to make 90, to make 95, to some of the exceptions that you guys maybe even touch 100, it has to become a full body effort to where you have to be so pissed at yourself every single day and question whether you did everything you possibly do because that's the only way it's going to happen. So I'm prick to a lot of these guys because I don't I think they're comfortable they're okay yeah. they're not necessarily okay with where they're at but it's almost like they're just waiting for failure waiting for that moment where somebody says it's done your career's over and they're just kind of waiting they're in line and do you have to break out of that yeah. you have to find out how hard it really is and do that work to truly make that change it's amazing to watch like Kevin Kevin put himself through hell to try to make that, and he did everything he could do. And then, it, then reality hit. But he pushed himself so to such an extreme that he had to. That was the mm. only way he was ever going to make that change. Mm. But you, so you have to push these kids. You have to be a dick. You have to tell them exactly what they have to do because if they're not willing to really accept it and, and own it, it's never going to happen. It never will. You can't just be comfortable. You have to break out of that, and like, you say it all the time. Destroy all your preconceptions and just, just run through a wall every day. Or, or you're just waiting for the end. So what, what do you say to, because it's hard, man, I'll tell you right now. Probably my most hated moment in doing any of this is when those kids walk in for the camp. Oh, because the looks on their faces are I, I just see it they're not here to work no they're here they think they're going to get a secret they want an easy answer yeah Absolutely. i wanted an easy answer too right. i i thought i was coming for you so i'm coming calling you looking for a little easy tweak and you told me david no i remember several times over the phone we were talking and you're like dude this isn't this easy little tweak like this isn't an easy little answer this is this is real Mm -hmm. Like this is this is like career changing. But yeah. what do you, what do you say to these kids? Like what do you when so if you were here when those kids come in the camp and you took them upstairs and you could just be brutally honest with them, just look them right in the eyes. Like what do you say? If you're not willing to put in the absolute work, that the the effort that's going to make you almost crying at night, just just stop, just stop because this isn't the program for you. And. Then, but is there another program out there? I mean, there are other programs yeah. that go to that will pat them on the butt and give them little tweaks and little things here and there, and they they might see a minute change, but their career's over essentially. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, now you're program chaser, and that's yeah, yeah. You're you're just chasing little dreams. You're still chasing that dream without actually putting in the effort. It, it's like, oh, I just want that easy, quick fix. It's like trying to lose 10 pounds and it's, oh, oh yeah, this five minute workout is gonna be the, one, the, the key. Yeah, congratulations, right. like where are you truly in your life? But it's like, I've had points in my career without a doubt where I got comfortable. And I, I kick myself in the ass every single one of those times. It's like, man, I could have just kept pushing myself and become that much better. And I remember those points. I'll, I'll never forget those points. Remember my junior year in college. I had a great first half of this, my, my season, and I was easily putting myself in a top 10 pick scenario. And I got really comfortable and failed for like eight games in a row where I really wasn't that successful. And I had a big man up, man to man talk to myself, 
sit down with our head coach, Coach Wayne Graham, and sit down with our pitching coach, Zane Curry, all, all at one time, said, hey, like, is this really where you see yourself, just coasting into the finish line? No. And we busted ass, and I ended up having a great finish. You know, and, and there was times in my career where I just felt, well, yeah, this is awesome. I, I like where I'm at. You can't like where you're at. You have to keep pushing. You have to keep getting better because it advanced baseball, especially, will catch up to you. It's not a sport where you're, you know, one day a week. It's a every single day. It will catch up very quickly. And you have to bust out your bust out of yourself to want it. But the issue is a lot of these kids walking through the door don't want it. They have to, they have to, it just has to be a, the inner drive where it just, they're, they will stop at nothing to throw 90. The, the problem is, is a lot of the kids that come through that door that have that attitude, physically, just, just the coordination wise, don't have it. They don't have, they'll never throw 90. They'll never throw 95. So they just coordinated wise, they just can't put it together. They just, it's impossible. But they have the drive. And then you can see the kids that have the coordination and have the mechanics and have the, have the movement patterns. And then they just, they don't want it. But you're always going to have that. That's the problem. You're going to have that. It's finding that, that diamond in the rough that, that has the ability to have both. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and, and then you were the one that, to give them that extra lift. But, but if you don't have it, fake it. Create it in your mind. You know, find that inner drive. Find that person that, that you want to be. And just push yourself every day. Tell yourself, I worked harder than him today. There's no way he worked. Yeah. Do, you, do you think everyone coming in to this camp or every kid out there that wants to throw 90 miles an hour has the potential? I think the potential's there. Absolutely. I think they're, I, I think with 90% of the kids walking through the door, all, all have the potential. They might, but, one just might have to work a lot harder than the other. Several are going to have to work a heck of a lot harder. Several just need that one little kick in the ass, you know, in the right direction. You know, and, and some, you just have to, either way, you're coming in here with a deficiency. Something's wrong. Something's not right. And you have to truly want it. You can't just be here and be like, oh, yeah, okay, cool, thanks for having me. I'm going to throw 90 now. No, I mean, these are, you're here because something is not right. People are throwing harder than you. Throwing harder than you want to. You know, you want to throw harder. It's just not going to be overnight. I mean, it, it has to be a, a whole life mental change. You know, in some way or another. Some guys, it's physically how to do it. Some guys, it's mentally how to do it. Some guys, it's mobility how to do it. But there has to be something that you're lacking that you're not doing right now that you have to push yourself so much harder because everybody else is already doing it naturally, right? Everyone, everyone that you want to be is already doing it. So you have to work harder than them, do everything else better than them, just to even catch up to them. Not even to beat them, just to even catch up, you have to work so much harder. Then if you want to beat them, you have to keep continuing that. And hope they don't. You know, and hope they don't work as hard as you. So what, what would you say to those kids that are like, um, you know, if you, if you could just give me two things that would be significant, you know, two exercises or... or two tips on something to, to get me throwing harder, what would you say to these guys? I mean, you know they're searching. It doesn't exist. It yeah, doesn't. Right. It, 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 there's, now there's a difference. That when you get to my level or, or you're talking about how to make a ball move a little bit different, okay, yeah, there are tips to do that. But when you're actually, when you're wanting to make a change, like throwing harder, little tips and changes, little tiny little things aren't going to make it. Whether you have your hand here or here isn't going to change you three miles an hour. You know whether you, whether you, whether you're thinking yourself reach out a little bit further or a little. That's not going to make a change. It has to be a commitment. Right? It has to be a complete commitment yeah. with everything you have. Man, you have to own this thing. It has to become you. Mm-hmm. You know the whole life is baseball's life right. idea. I've never liked that. But when you're trying to make a change like that, that has to be you. You have to become baseball. If you want to make that change, guys that are CEOs, guys that start companies, they live it and dream, and, and they at night they're dreaming about it. During the day, they're living it. Like they, that's all there is. People that start small businesses, people say it's the hardest thing in the world because you're constantly, you are the business. You're the business. Rain or shine, sick, whatever, you're the business. If you want it to work, you live it. 
So if you want it to work, you have to live it. You have to choose whether you want a social life. You have to choose what, what, like how in school you want to be. And you have to choose on baseball how you want to be. You can't go and have this big social life and then want to make master changes on the field. It's just not going to happen because then your school's going to suck. If you want to, you know, you have to keep up with the grades without a doubt because it doesn't matter. You have to do that. So do it on the field too, man. Make that all about your life. You get home, you work on stuff in your in your dorm or or at home in front of a mirror. You work on on the things you have to change that for yourself, and then you you get on the field and you do it. You just do it constantly. It has to become you. It has to become who you are. Be that weirdo. Be that guy that everyone goes, oh god, he's always working on something. Be that guy because without making those changes, without doing that, you're not going to make changes. You're just going to keep doing what you've always done.